When we talk about Jesus for a minute, talk about Jesus in the music, talk about Jesus, talk about Jesus, he's a wonderful savior, when we talk about Jesus for a minute. Okay, good day and welcome to my channel. I trust everybody's doing well by the mercies of God. I'm so excited today and I think it's because of the makeup. <laughs> but anyway, my name is Precious and I'm a Christian YouTuber from Ghana. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back to this channel by God's grace. Um, as you can see in the title, this is going to be a video about my mentors. I'm sure when some of you saw this video, you must have looked at the title and been like, why would you think that we will be interested in knowing this? But I want to share this because of um, a mandate I received. I'll talk about that in a different video. But in light of that, I want to share men and women of God that have impacted my life. It's a way of honoring them. And the reason for which I'm filming this is because I want you all to know that number one, nothing just happens. No one just gets up and becomes in this body. We are not independent. We rely on we rely on people. We rely, we rely on people. Sorry, we rely. Hey. God has shared Himself in men. He has found men and has shared Himself in men. If you read Second Corinthians four verse three to seven, that's what it talks about. God has hidden Himself in men, and so I want to um, honor these men. These are men. I may not get the chance to meet, I may not get the chance to meet some of them one-on-one. -on -one. For some of them, I've met them, some have laid hands on me. For some, I know the farthest I'll get will just be in a room with them. And I'm like in the crowd, the huge crowd. And um, for some, I may get the chance for them to know my name. But there's a way of honoring them and a way of bringing to light the fact that I didn't just get up and just become what I am today. And so my tomorrow is also very dependent on what I'm devoting my city to. So anyway, I wrote this here that I wrote, these are unique men and I may not get the chance to honor each of them personally or face to face. So here's my thank you to God for hiding himself in men and to these systems, because I refer to them as systems, and to these systems who have created space for God to find expression through their lives. I've written down their names, maybe, I would um, insert like a minute or 30 seconds of them preaching or something they've said in it for some of them, for some I won't, it doesn't mean anything. So the first person is Prophet Nana Seokokusa Kode. I encountered his ministry in 2017, yes, 2017. It was the year that we had, the, we were going to vote, that was the year I encountered him and i went for the 70 days fasting let me tell you all i had just come fresh out of a breakup that very day and i really knew i needed to go to a place where i'll hear god's word because i was just about to go back to the guy and beg him to come back <laughs> this is a whole story but i really was going to do that so that day um, we broke up at dawn so that i think wednesday or thursday morning i was th thursday evening wednesday or thursday evening i was in my hostel when um, one friend, two of them actually told me um, Magdan and Clinton, they invited me to a program at Porter City. I didn't know about, about Porter City prior to that. I had heard um, one or two people mention it, but I didn't know anything about what it was. I didn't even know what was happening there. They invited me and I went there. The first day I stepped on the compound, the first thought that crossed my mind was, ha. so this is in Ghana. Like something like this is happening in Ghana and it's not in the news. Why would you publicize this? Like, make good news. I mean, like, that, that that's just the reflection of the state of my heart at the time. I was like, if God is using me to do something this great within this time, like, I have to let everybody know. And at the time, it was almost two years. It wasn't even two years. And now, this year is the fifth year since God servant, Reverend Anase, started to build Potter City. Most people don't know why I love Prophet Nana say that much, but if you know me, you know I love him so much. I've mentioned him in a number of videos on this channel. I met him at a point where I was broken. God's word through his mouth has kept me, has built me. Wait, my voice is shaky. But yeah, God's word through his mouth has kept me and has built me. It has brought me where I'm standing today. Because of God's word through his mouth, I am living a holy life. I am in service. 
I'm in true service unto God. I'm striving to become a better person. And I know for sure that my end will be great. I can't thank him enough. Um, just 18 June was his birthday. I went to Accra on Tuesday, that was 16 June. But because of Prophet Nana said his birthday, I because it was my brother's birthday on 17 June. But I had to come straight Thursday early morning. I had to come back to Pam Pam so that I can see him and go and honor him in the little way I know how. Prophet Nana said doesn't know me personally. But I'm sure he knows my face, or maybe he has taken note of my face. I don't know. I really hope he has because it's somebody I really love and respect. I listen to him every single day. I can't even go like I listen to him. I can't. I cannot stay away. Yes, I cannot stay away. Moving on, the second person that has impacted my life. These are people that I hope to become like. People that I desire God's mantle over their lives. Second person is Apostle Joshua Stillman. And <laughs> um, yes, Apostle Joshua Stillman. I don't know what to say, but um, I just love him. I love him. I listen to him every single day of my life. No day has gone by since I fell in love with his ministry that I've not listened to him. Every day I wake up, at least I devote one hour to and listen to God's word through his mouth. I can never get tired. A day I can listen to more than 10 months from him. I can never get tired. I keep downloading, keep listening, and trust me, my life has turned around. I've become wiser. I've made wiser decisions. God has spoken prophetically to me and direct prophetic word to me through him. And yes, I love him so much. I thank God for the fact that he, he answered to God's call upon his life. Through his answering to God's call, um, many of us are being enlightened. Many of us are becoming wiser. Many of us are being blessed tremendously. The third person is the probably the okay, she's the first woman and her name should be on top, but because she's dead, I didn't put her name up. It's Catherine Johanna Coleman, Miss Coleman, faith evangelist, healing minister, everything. Some, yes, I love her so much. I first heard of her in the prophecy when I was like a very young girl in primary when I was prophesied to. And her name came up, and since then, it's like almost every time I prophesy to a name, like I'm always like him to her. I love her. I've listened to every single sermon of hers that's available everywhere on YouTube. So long as it's on the internet, I've listened to it, and I'm not even exaggerating. I have listened to every single one. I've read every book she wrote, I've read other books people wrote about her, um, but not all of them. Yes, but I love Miss Coleman. I've studied her from my childhood to date. I'm still studying. I have her sermons. I've exhausted everything. Over time, I go back and listen to her because I have her sermons on my PC, on my phone. I go back and listen. You can listen to her sermon in 2015 and it will bless you. 2016, you listen to it and it does something entirely different to you. So I keep listening to her again. I cannot be thankful. She has she she built a standard and that standard to date has not been beaten till date through god god used there in ways that till date we've not seen black people carry that type of until there's pastor benny him i'm talking of women the fourth person pastor david wilkerson i've listened to him for about two years i have post I've probably exhausted every same one of his on youtube every sermon that was posted of him on youtube i've probably exhausted it i discovered him about two or three years ago i'm not sure and since then oh my brokenness vulnerability those are two things i picked from him if you listen to all of his sermons you notice that he's a very broken man he's vulnerable he doesn't try to be perfect he's very clear about how he feels very clear about what happens to him and through he ministers from a point of brokenness and vulnerability and i love him so much I love him so much. I honor him so much. I listen to him frequently. I listen to him often. I have a sermon. Just this morning, I was even listening to him. Just this very Sorry. Morning. The fifth person, Leonard Ravenhill. I recently discovered him. I don't even think it's been a year since I discovered him. I don't know when he died. I don't know when he died. But the most recent sermon of his that I've seen was in 1992. Yes, yeah, so I'm sure he must have died not too long ago. But yes, I love Leonard Raven. If you don't know him, please go and find him. He's a revival brand prophet of God. All these men of God have mentioned are prophets. Prophet Anna say and Apostle Selman are apostles. 
all of them actually they are all prophetic prophetic people yes prophetic systems i don't think they are human beings i would like my i don't think they are human beings no. there's a place where you walk with god and you cease to behave like a, a normal human being would so the safe person on my list is Derek prince yes Papa, Reverend Derek Prince. I don't see. I, it's impossible for me to not put a title before their name. So those that don't even have titles, I cannot mention their names fully because it's just some way for me in my mouth. So yes, Derek Prince, Pastor Derek Prince. I've listened to him. The first message of his that I found on YouTube was about two years ago. The title was um, "How Demons Can Cause Negative Thinking." Or something like that. But I'm sure that's the exact title. How demons cause negative thinking. And boy, <laughs> I listened to that sermon. At that point in my life, I needed to hear that sermon. I don't remember what was happening, but I needed to hear that sermon. I think it was something about depression. Yes, I, I was around like, the same year that I lost my grandfather. Not too long after that. So, yes, I've listened to him over and over and over and over. Keep downloading. And on one of his YouTube pages I follow, they recently started posting a family life series. Um, you should check the description box because I'm going to put um, a link to their YouTube channels or their YouTube pages which have been created for them and that are dedicated to messages that they have um, preached. If they have not created an official YouTube channel but there's a sermon that I really love from them, I'll attach the link in the description box so that you can find them. This is a way of sharing with you how God has blessed me. Okay, Dr. Wanita Baino. I received a prophetic word from her at Tehila. She didn't prophesy to me um, like one on one, but she was ministering and then she pointed at me and another lady who was in black um, at Tehila 2017. She pointed in her directions and, no, 2018 rather. She pointed in her directions and released a prophetic word. It's a whole story. I love Mama Bino. She calls herself Mama B. That's like a B. So Mama B. I love her. I've listened to her. I've also drank everything that's on YouTube. Moving forward, these are people. The rest of the list is going to be people that I listen to. I am very conscious of who I give my attention to and who I give my mind to. I don't hear just anybody's voice. It's the reason why I don't even let people call me and I don't entertain phone calls. I have just a select number of people that can call me on phone and I will pick up. Because I'm very careful of who I speak to, their voice, listening to voice notes. It's just a different thing. But it's the side of me that is there. So the rest of these people are going to be people that I love and respect. I listen to them often. These are people that I put myself under. I, I listen to them, maybe not as regularly as the seven I've mentioned, but I listen to them equally under them. So on this list, I have Prophet Prince William Lavi. I'd like to make a different video about him. He's my spiritual father. I'd like to make a different video about him. So Prophet Prince William Lavi, um, Mama Maya, that's Joyce Maya, Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome, Bishop Oyedepo, Dr. Kole Meche. I was privileged to meet him last year. A full gospel convention in Ghana and Pastor Benny Hinn and lastly Pastor Billy Graham. This is the entire list of men of God I listen to. They have been such a blessing to me. They've impacted my life in various ways. I bless the day I found them. I bless the day I put my body, my soul, my spirit under God's word that comes through their mouth. These are systems I honor and I think that um, if you are looking to listen to men of god or you want to hear sermons that will build you in faith holiness in every area they are all all around men of god they are very they preach very balanced messages preach solely from the word of god of course because we are human beings uh, you may not like the way one of them may do things or say something but these are men of god that i know god has hidden himself in so yeah i just wanted to share it with you because this is the actual reason I'm going to be posting sermons of men of God on this channel, men and women of God. And I didn't want to just get up and post a video. I wanted to lead us into it. So you would begin to see most of their messages on my channel or some of their messages on my channel. Apostle Summer's birthday is 25th June, which is tomorrow, Thursday. I'm filming today on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. It's almost 12 
pain so please wish him please pray for him and bless god for his life bless god for all these men of god and yes i'm so happy i'm so glad i finally filmed this video thank you all and i hope you enjoyed this video um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you bye